Today on Toy Shiz, I've saved the best for last. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys, and today, finally, we've gotten to the big man pajama himself, the brand new Spawn Universe, The Violator. And this guy <laughs> is about 3.4 pounds of pure plastic goodness gorgeous box art ripped straight from spawn 300 little reveal when he took down spawn spawn was very surprised i love the flames the back of the box as simple as it is as corny as it is pure 90s right there they did a great job on that lovely yellow spawn red logo picture of the figure if you're wondering how big these boxes are they're huge especially the violator box which completely dwarfs let's say the gunslinger the clown is actually longer, bigger, right, than the Violator, but in either case, they're huge when you compare them to Marvel Legends figures. In fact, yeah, in all aspects, they're ginormous. As I've said previous with all my other Spawn videos thus far, old toys are old toys. We're looking at these with fresh eyes. We're going to see how they stack up. It's going to be a blast. I When they first revealed the photos for this, oh my god, this... But wait for this one. This one looks fantastic. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Spawn Universe, the mega-sized ginormous jumbo <laughs> deluxe, the Violator. It's not even a word for how big this thing is by McFarland Toys. And of course, after working my way through 15 pounds of twisty ties that keep this guy held together in the packaging, the Violator has been unleashed. Although he does look a little bit different here. Hold on one second. I need to get my, yeah, let's get the toy files out. This, something doesn't look right here, right? He looks, he looks different. Ah, here we go. Yeah, the Violator. Well, let's see. Very skinny looking Violator as such. Let me read the back of this card. Yeah, da, 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 da. yeah there's thousands of variations. Uh, yeah, it's just, I think it's just it's the same Violator, but uh, yeah, he's been juiced up a little bit thanks to Spawn 300. A new look for the Violator, in case anyone was wondering. Although, yes, I am very much used to the fact of Violator is a skinny little demon guy that messes around and transforms out of clown. <laughs> That surprises me a lot, to be quite honest with you. I've gotten a lot of people say, wait a minute, Clown is Violator? Go watch the old-fashioned Spawn movie. When I saw that as a kid, I lost my mind. So cool. And what is it? The new 319 cover art features an amazing transformation sequence from Clown to Violator. And just an FYI, Clown can be called Clown and Violator. But when in Violator form, he is only the Violator, not Clown. If you followed along with that. But in either case, yes, this thing is a huge, hulking new take on the Violator. And while I have a hundred million little skinny Violators, yeah, I was looking forward to this guy. It's a different figure. It's something new. It's something I don't have. And at the end of the day, it's just a giant monstrous demon for Spawn to fight on my toy shelf, right? And I'm not even joking when I say that this guy is huge. He's heavy. It's like lifting a weight. So we're gonna have a blast showing this off when I do the articulation segment, right? Let's get this guy going. He comes with the tiniest little stand in the world. What is the point of this? I don't know, it doesn't do anything. A larger stand, maybe. That would have been helpful. But yeah, like I said, this guy clocks in at around the 3.4 pounds of plastic mark. And it's like a murder weapon. You know, in court, you can say like, how was the, how was the person murdered? It was this Violator toy, right? This thing has details for days, craggy skin, the greatest paint wash. This is old fashioned Spawn toys to me. Out of the entire Spawn universe, Clown being second, this one reminds me of the good old days, hands down, except for the price. <laughs> but you can see you know, the amount of plastic you get, it, it, it cements it, I think so. He's got some wicked jaw articulation that goes up and down. He's got the biggest overbite in the world. He's got these horns, right? Violator also has the three pronged horns. They're softer this time around. That's the thing on these new spawn figures. Everything seems to be worked to just be a little bit more durable than old fashioned spawn figures. For those of you that collected back in the day, you know what I'm talking about. Brittle, let's all get out, right? He's got this cool tailbone right here. 
And it just, oh man, this guy looks fantastic. He's got, these are actually sharp as heck right here, these little spikes. But the bone protrusions on his arm, again, it's something different, something new. But it, it's a welcomed new addition to a look for Violator after having that look for over and over again. Just hands down, if you, you don't even need the articulation on this guy, but he does have it. So let's go ahead and start up. Well, let's look at his feet really fast. Painted tone. That's the paint. The paint on this thing, can't stress enough. They nailed it. These are old-fashioned spawn paint apps right here. In terms of the articulation, I totally thought that his head would move a whole heck of a lot more than it does. It really doesn't basically just his jaw. He will twist at the upper part of his violator body. <laughs> and then he will actually ab crunch. Oddly enough, he's the only one really that has an ab crunch that works. He'll go back and forth right there. And he will also spin at the waist. He's got huge monstrous arms that click. They stay in place. He'll swivel at the elbow, single jointed elbows, which I'm glad that he's as sturdy as he is because, you know, with the haunches and everything, you get worried. He will spin at the wrist and he does have a swivel right there, which I think in terms of doing that type of articulation, I think it works for what I'm interested in. In the legs, the legs are pretty solid. I was worried that, you know, after a while you kind of pose him a little bit, he's going to start giving, then he's basically going to fall down to his butt. No, it's pretty solid. I got to give it to him on that. He will spin at the knee. He will have single jointed knees. He's got the haunches, right, that are also single jointed. So he's got about a couple points of articulation in the legs. And he's got some good ankle rocker with some holes on the bottom of his feet. I would say, if anything, position him in a sense where, you know, he's going to be closer to the ground arms at a certain point. That way he just stays standing up. When you extend the legs all the way to the highest point, I got about 12 inches out of this guy. And if you put him next to your Mortal Kombat 11 spawn, which I think he looks great, he can also pick up the spawn, he can smash the spawn to the ground, he can tear him in half, he can steal his necro costumes to make spawn realize that, yeah, it's it with the power's been within him all this time. But in either sense, I'll just tell you all day, this stood for a bit, but then he toppled over. So get a stand if you really want to have this be a permanent fixture on your shelf. In terms of the Kickstarter spawn, yeah, he looks good with the Stan Lee spawn. Again, nice height. Nice new era of spawn. Totally different. Everything's changed. But eh, it's a welcome change. I'll say that. With the clown, the new Spawn Universe clown, yeah, I think these two go together very nicely, as does the old-fashioned McFarlane toys with Clown, Clown 4. They scale nicely. Imagine that clown. Turn it into this. Works for me. Violator 3. Here's where we see the difference between all the different figures and the looks for Violator. Now, again, like I said, I'm very much used to the very skinny, gaunt, weird-looking Violator. And I like that look, really. I do... I think that will always be the look of Violator. But I have a dozen of those. Like I said, I even got like a robot version of Violator in that sort of deal. But this new one just changes it up and it's something new for my shelf. So I'm kind of glad they didn't do what's exactly come before. Clown, it's changed a bit. It's kind of a mashup of several things. But the Violator is pretty much new through and through, and that's what I really appreciate. If you want to go the other end of the spiritual road, yeah, you got the Marvel Legends Angela, and then you also have the new Redeemer, which I think all scale well. This is a giant, hulking, massive violator, so it's pretty much going to scale with anything you want to put it with. If you have the old-fashioned mega violator, you can see the difference. Now, this one kind of scales with this new one, but in that old-fashioned skinny body look right there, you could totally get this one. Might even be a heck of a lot cheaper. You never know. And he also comes with a stand. That, I think, is something missing from this Violator. I would have really liked some sort of stand or platform instead of the tiniest little spawn stand for this guy. I think that that would have just added to it and been like, boom, here's your freaking awesome, humongous Violator figure. And in comparing him with 
older Malbolgia figures, the original Malbolgia, the Malbolgia 2, you start to see again that this one really fits in with all the old stuff the best. The new plastic, the new look for the Spawn Universe figures, it, you could, yeah, that, oh, that doesn't fit, that doesn't work, you know what I mean? But when you see, like, Malbolgia 2, even the original Malbolgia, you see the paint apps, you see the look, you see the detail and everything else that goes into these figures. And he just fits with them. So I love that. And just an FYI, yes, after all these years, unfortunately, Malbolgia is still the tallest demon in the collection. Poor guy right there. But going back to what I said, even with Tremor or Overkill, the later figures, when they did the art of Spawn and everything else, this new Violator fits better with that look. The later look of the original Spawn line from the details the paint apps, everything is there. So when you ultimately end up putting all these spawn figures together, you could say, yeah, well, these are the old ones, these are the new ones, but they all kind of meld together after a while. And that's what's cool. And that's what's cool about the new spawn universe line. It may not be for old collectors, it may not be for new collectors, but for new fans of spawn or people getting into it or wondering what the heck was spawn all about back in the day, it's a new jumping off point. And if it could bring some cool new toys to some cool new collectors, that's what makes it worth it. I want to see new stuff. I love Spawn. The idea of collecting Spawn back in the day, when I was a little kid, it was like, you're doing something wrong. What is this? Angels and demons and dead things and everything else. It was like, I got to keep this quiet. That's how I saw it. And so that's where all the memories lie. It's just a wicked, cool looking property. And it deals with a guy in a Venom suit with a Doctor Strange cape. So, it, it's bonkers as heck. The new Spawn Universe comic, check it out. It's interesting. It's a new, totally new take for Spawn and going forward. But, heck, even with Mal Bulge's wild hairdo, <laughs> that's, that's the whole idea of Spawn. It's just crazy, and it's whatever you want it to be. But, most of all, just have fun with your toys. Because remember, it all started with this, and we love this back in the day. So that's gonna wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toy Spawn Universe, the mega figure, The Violator. A completely new take on The Violator, but one that's welcomed. He's a big juiced up mamma jamma. He's ready to go. He's awesome. The paint apps are there. This is the figure that you want if you're missing old fashioned Spawn figures. He's huge. 3.4 pounds of plastic, he's ginormous, he's got some good joints, solid joints, so I'll tell you all day, I think you're going to really like this figure, and to be honest, it would have been great at the $40 mark, at the $50 mark, you're teetering a little bit, but I think you're going to get your money's worth in the sense of, yeah, you're getting a lot of plastic for your buck. That's all I'm going to say, but I'm curious to know what you guys think about this new Violator figure. Will you be picking him up? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn Universe. And again, thank you so much to McFarlane Toys for sending this out to give you guys this fresh look. And thank you to everyone who's watched my videos this weekend. I've had a great time showing them off. It's been busy, so thanks for hanging in there with me. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, go watch that Spawn movie and watch that transformation sequence. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.